Hey people, what's going on? I'm the Bragging Puppet and today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw an old school face. I'm going to do this in the iPad on Procreate. Uh, on the iPad, in Procreate rather. <laughs> but you can do it on paper, pens, markers, whatever you guys want. Just, just copy what I do on here, on there. It's really that simple. Now, so like I said, I'm in Procreate. I'm going to have five layers. So I've got sketching, refining, color shade and line work. So I'm going to start with sketching, refine the detail a little bit, do my line work, then shade and color it. It's just a really good way to kind of sort of set it out. I'm going to start off using sketching, technical pencil, and I'm going to sketch with dark red. If you've done the paper, use black low because you can't really rub red out, it's too easy. You know, cut, rubbing colour pencil is a bit of a nightmare. So I'm going to start off with a circle, a bit of a box shape, kind of round it, and then divide it in four. So you've got a circle, rough box shape, divide it in four. Don't worry about being neat, don't worry if you've got outside the edges, you know, this is just a sketching layer. You know, nothing's perfect at this point. We're just trying to build up roughly where we want everything. So I'm going to cut off with this curve just around here. Get to about halfway. I'm going to create a little dip in. It's going to create where the brow's going to go. Come down here. I like to cut through this sort of center bit here with the nose. Curve this down a touch. Roughly about halfway here. We're going to curve the other way. And that's roughly where the mouth's going to sit. Create a little loop just to the bottom lip. Curve down to the bottom. That's roughly where the chin's going to go. So you've got roughly about halfway, so about halfway for the eye bit there, just there. So that's the rough sort of positioning for like, you know, the main kind of face shape. It's a really good way of just kind of getting that roughly in proportion because a lot of people are going to go a bit crazy with it. Bring your curve back, like so. And your ear is going to go roughly around here. You're going to bring your head back, you're going to curve around here. Create a little dip in just there. And that can go down to where your neck's going to go. So that can go down there. So it's kind of sort of side profile. And if we're coming from line here, you know from the center point, I'm going to bring right line roughly coming up towards your eyebrow bit, just there. Another line just there. And if you imagine about halfway through this box, come from this line, kind of sort of like pointing towards tip of the nose. And it's going to give a good position for the knee eye. So I'm going to show you doing it now. So we've got this line. Just want to bring this line across like this. Create a little bit there, it goes across that line. Create your loop. Little line above, just for the above eyelid. And a little line just coming down, just kind of show where you get a bit of shadow underneath the eye. It's a really simple way of kind of getting the eye where you want it to be. Now the eyebrow, depending on the emotion, you can have it going a bit higher, a bit lower. Women, you kind of have, you sometimes go to a bit more. Men, you don't really go too high with. The man, you want the eyebrow to be fairly close to the eye. So I'm gonna curve back like so, very close. And I'm going to curve it kind of upwards towards the end. I'm going to go to here. So it's kind of curving upwards rather than downwards. Now it all depends on the kind of expression you want. You know, it's the kind of like expression I'm kind of after. So you have that. Now we've got this nose bit here. I'm going to bring this line back just a little bit. And curve. Just a real simple curve. And boom, we've got a nostril. And if you want to sort of get our positioning, say roughly about where the eyebrow goes. Not quite where the eye is. The eye is a bit more kind of in front this way. So you see, you've got your rough kind of face shape. Once you've got your face shape, you've got to think about what you want in the face. If you want a moustache, if you want a beard, the kind of hair you want, you know, this is kind of where you sort of start thinking about the details that kind of give them a character. Because this is kind of generic at the minute, and we don't want a generic. We want to add personality to this. Now, I generally always put a moustache, and I love adding moustaches to my characters, especially, especially the guys. I don't often put moustaches on the girls. I might have to put it go, that might have worked. A little pencil moustache on one. I don't know, I'll have to try it. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna put the moustache on here. So I'm gonna quite a long one. It's going quite far back. You can see it almost goes back to where the back of the eye is. So I'm gonna drag that across. You can have a short one if you want, but I'm gonna go for a bit of a longer one on this. And I, you can have like just a moustache. You ain't got to necessarily have a beard, but I love adding my beards, you know. I've got a beard myself, I love a beard. So I'm gonna curve this down, going a little bit lower than what the chin is. Curve it back, and I like to go a little bit further than the chin and kind of curve it back a little bit. You kind of get this nice kind of sort of shape to it. Now from here, you're going to kind of curve it down. And you basically want this little loop off, off the bottom lip. So where you've got this bottom lip, you're going to create a little loop just here, a little gap, and this can kind of go into the beard. So you kind of get that rough shape. So you've got the facial hair in there, you know, which is a nice feature, and then we've got to go onto the hair. So I want it to look a bit kind of vintage looking, so I want a bit of an old-fashioned hairstyle, so... I'm going to start off with a big curve at the top, like this, just real simple. And I'm going to have a secondary curve 
come to the back of the head, and you bring a line across just here to create a bit of a side part in. So you're going to bring a line back and bring another line coming out of the way. Roughly it's where that halfway line is, just a bit past it. Bring a little line down just like that, just to kind of show where the hairline is. Now you can more forward now if you want, I might go a touch a bit more forward, a bit of an angle. Yeah, I like that. And when we've got this top bit here, I'm going to create these curves. Just come down that, so you've got a bunch of repeating lines, just covering through that top part just there. Now the back bit, I think I'm going to have these just coming fairly sort of curved straight. You know, you've got to remember that when you're in the hair, these lines are used to tell the direction of each section. So this section I kind of feel like is kind of curving back this way. I mean, you could have it kind of looped down and curved down over that way if you want to. You could have it going the other way where it's all coming forward. You know, you've got to think about the direction you want. You know, lines are for directions. You could also have the top hat on there, you know, kind of hat. As I know, so it's just got to be the hair. So come back into the ear now, so following that rough shape, just making a little dip on the side bit here. You can have sometimes a little dip on this side as well if you want. Little inside detail. So I send the curve around, make a little bump just here, curve down. And it ends up to you, you can kind of make a few little bits. I like, you know, kind of sort of personalize your own way. As long as you've got a bunch of like squiggly lines in there, it looks good. You know, you ain't got to worry too much about that. That sort of stress. Everyone's ear is different. Um, you can actually use your ear inside there to actually identify yourself because everyone's different. Um, you can actually use that same as like dental records and stuff and like eye recognition. Yeah, very interesting feature. Right, so the bit, again, I've got these lines curving through. When I get to here, I'm going to make these lines kind of curve up and then kind of curve the other way a little bit. So it's going to kind of go this way and I'm going to slowly rotate as I go front. The moustache ones just kind of, kind of curve roughly as I go that way. I'm going to get a little bit of a line just here on the face where I'm going to have a bit of shadow. I'm not going to put like a big bold line there. I just want a little line where I'm going to put some shadow. Now coming down here, I'm going to curve off the back here. I'm going to have a little bit of rotation in the neck. I'm not going to have them sort of like facing dead on, I think. You can do if you want, but I like a little bit of rotation on this bit. So I'm going to give me his collar. Give me his tie. And coming down here, I'm going to bring this line coming down. I'm going to use his blazer here to kind of define his body shape. So by that, I basically mean this is going to be ended. I'm not going to do anything underneath this, and it kind of brings it to a nice end, you know, rather than stuff just kind of disappearing. It's a nice kind of end way of doing it. So you got how much things or make any sort of corrections you need. Like I think I might bring that hairline just a tiny bit forward, just there. But then that's pretty good. I'm probably going to put a tattoo on his neck, and you know, I might have like a rose or something on here. Um, I might put you know the classic one, do like sort of gent on top of the eyebrow. But yeah, I love my tattoos on my tattoos. So I love doing those little features. But that's the rough sort of like outline. I don't think I'm, I usually go into refining, do little refined details, but to be honest, I don't really feel like I need to. I think this is enough to kind of go off of. So I'm going to line work now. I'm going to go black. I'm going to go here. You can either use a, something like inking with technical pen, or you can use something like uh, calligraphy monoline, you know, where it's all at the exact same width. You know, I'm probably going to use a bit of both here. So I'm going to start off with the calligraphy one. So the uh, monoline. And it's exactly how it is, I haven't modified it, it's the exact same as what it'd be for you. And just go on your line work, I'm going to go over everything we've just done now, so we've got a nice line work in here. Now this is old school, so I'm going to have like, you know, one rough outline. You know, you can sometimes shrink it, you can get uh, thinner lines if you want. But the more you start adding different line weights, the more sort of towards neo trad you're kind of pushing. You know, you can do it for old school. There's, there's no rule book to say you can't add different line weights. But yeah, just be conscious that you know too many and you will start going more neo tread. Which is nothing wrong, but if you're trying for old school, you just kind of love to fit in the purpose a little bit. So it's kind of all those lines we just drew. But, you know, if you look a bit behind me, don't worry, don't sort of have to go the same speed as me. I've done this a million times, so I'm very quick at what I do with these. You know, pause, rewind, you know, go as slow as you guys need to. Don't sort of feel like you have to go the same speed as I do. You now this will just come in time, okay? You will get a speed, don't worry. It just takes time. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way as well so you don't cover up too much of your work. There we go. 
to connect that. Put the line just there. I'm trying to hold my hand in position, I'm not really used to it. I normally sort of draw like this and this kind of blocks everything so. I'm trying to keep my hand away so you guys see everything. So we're getting this in there, it's all coming in quite nicely now, so bring these lines up, these lines across. Let's get this to where I want it to look. There we go, like that, it's a nice line. Sorry about all the zooming in and zooming out, it just makes it easier to get the line work. You guys know where we're going, you guys can see nice and clear line work that I'm doing. I think it's more helpful when it's nice and up close like this, because you can see how I do each kind of line. If it's not helpful and it's more annoying and you want me to sort of try and keep it like this, you know, just comment in the comments and let me know. I can do that, it's just, just speeds things up. So that's the basic line works. So now I'm going to put little high, uh, lines in the hair. So I'm going to have this curve like this, this curve like this. So you see I'm doing those lines, I'm kind of curving a little flick towards the end as it goes across. Go, get these in there nicely. Stop that there for that bit. Get the moustache details in there. And what is up, moustaches and beards? But I mean, they look cool in real life, but they just look so extra cool in a tattoo. So just keep plotting all these lines. Sorry if the worst went now, my camera kind of stopped recording for two seconds. No idea why. But I'm not going to gone, so I'm not going to restart. So there we go. We've got a basic line mark in there now, so that's all in there. Remember, we're going to have tattoos here. I'm going to have a little tattoo about the eyebrow. I'm going to turn the line mark, um, the sketching layer off. But just remember, we're going to have that stuff there as well. So if you click on your line mark now, and click reference. That's a really good thing, because when you click that, it means when we auto-select with this tool up here on automatic, it will then automatically select inside those areas on any layer we have. So we're going to go to shading to begin with. And I'm going to start off with like the hair and stuff. So I'm going to do all the black and grey first. So I'm going to start off here. Now I like to use the spray painting on here. It's a really good feature for old school. It's just got like a nice grain to it. So medium nozzle, fairly thick. And where I've got the arrow selector, I'm going to draw from outside the box. So I'm not going to go inside, I'm going to go outside to begin with like this. And that way I get a nice kind of gradient going into it. Same on the bottom, you see I'm sort of drawing outside the box. And gradually just going into it. I'm going to leave a little highlight in the middle, kind of grey highlight, just like that. And I select the moustache. And the moustache I might just go black from this side, kind of fading that way. Yeah, I quite like that. See the eyebrow. Let's just black it out. Mm, I'm grey, I'll go for a little bit grey on there. And I'm going to get his nice fade coming down here. So I'm going to work at the top. Don't worry about the two bits there, just automatically selected those bits. So I'm going to change that selection in a sec. So nice fade coming down from the top. Just erase that top, I don't want that ticket that way. I'm going to use the freehand selection now. I'm just going to select across here. Just come back this way. And coming back this way. Just so I select basically this section here. And again, let's give myself like a nice little highlight just in the center of it. Kind of gray it out. Going go for this part here now. So I'm going to go black across this bit because that way it kind of like makes it kind of join up the hair. And black across that bottom. I'm just using your razor with the spray paint tool. I'm just going to go over the edge and just kind of lean up that bottom part. Just have that side part and still want to show you. So that does it for the top part of the hair. 
Let's get that done. I'm going to go down here. It's going to quickly select these blades apart. A bit of black across the top edges, a little highlight through the middle. Real simple, and lastly, just a little bit inside the shirt. Not too much, I'm literally just kind of a little bit of black, just basically in the corners, really. Everywhere there's kind of a corner, just like that. And that's pretty much it for the black. You know, most of the rest I'm generally going to do with. Uh, Color, except for this inside part of the ear, I might just quickly select this and just do this one bit. It's a little bit black in there. There we go. So that'll do for that bit. So I'm going to go down to color now. I'm going to select this. Let's go all my selection, start with the face. I'm going to use this kind of sort of fleshy tone, this one, quite like this. Spray paint tool again. And there's a lot of different ways of doing the face. I'm going to start off with doing some of the key features. I'm going to put a little bit here. Let's raise this out of touch. I just want to create this cheek shape first. So coming down from the top part of the eye, coming fairly close to the nostril, just give me a little highlight gap in between. So we just go for this bit first. There we go. So you've got that little bit of cheek in just there. A little bit just here where you kind of would have the cheekbone. Just come up here, just to sort of show the sort of the twist in the face a little bit. A bit on the front. And first one's got a little bit on the nose as well. I'm gonna have some above the eye as well, just here. I'm gonna have a bit of black here as well, which I forgot to do earlier, which I'll add afterwards. So it's basically the light flesh tone, and I'm gonna come in with a darker one now. So I'm gonna come in with this, and just gonna sort of darken up a few little bits. You're pretty much going to have the same shading you just done, just going a little bit shorter with it. Yeah, quite like how that looks. It's going to put a flesh tone now on the rest of the uh, body part, so around the neck. So basically, it's going to come from one side of the neck, then the other side. A little bit just kind of inside the ear. A little bit just here around the back of the ear. So, come back in with that darker one again. So, just do what you just done before, just go a little bit shorter. Just like so. Just go in a little bit in there. So, now I've got it done, I'm going to quickly select black again. Just go back onto the black. Select all the face parts so I'm not doing the eyebrows and stuff. Basically, want to go a little bit black, just kind of like around the eye, so it sort of joins up the eyebrow touch. Just come back on those lines. So basically, almost like a little bit of just shadow, just on those around the eye part. That do for me. I'm gonna do a little bit just inside, just there, and the other part being the color, just there. Now, kind of a bit of red in there if you want, like on the cheek. Sometimes a bit of red does look quite nice. I normally do most of it on the females, but it does look good on the males as well. You know, it doesn't necessarily make it look feminine, nothing like that. Don't sort of panic. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but sometimes a little bit of red just looks really nice like that. This bottom lip, it's kind of a little bit of flesh tone just on the side. And the actual lip itself, going to make it a little bit more of a pinkish tone. Just a bit across the bottom top. Don't too much highlight in it. That do for that. Inside the eye, it's going to draw. Ooh, it's quite a big pupil. Little pupil, little highlight bit. And now on that bottom part, just there, I'm going to add. You can go blue. Now I quite like doing my eyes orange. I don't know why, I think old school looks pretty cool orange. So you got that, and now the tie. I'm gonna go red. Hitman style. I'm go dark red around the outside of it. Just gonna show the curve of it. I'm 
I'm gonna go for a gray inside the collar bit, just around here. So I don't want to be in pure, I mean, you can have a pure white, I just make a little bit of color, just kind of like makes it a bit better. So you've got a body going there quite nicely now. What I think I'm looking at, and sometimes you sort of want to add something, so I'm going to go calligraphy. I often quite do this, so I'm going to get a circle, so I'm going to draw a circle, tap down the screen, and it gives you a perfect circle. It's going to move this behind. No face to touch, just there, I think. Just to raise the part that's in the face. I don't want the part that's in the face, I literally just want it. Yeah, so the edge part. I'm just going to click on this and click merge down so it just joins up the line work. Click on the inside. I'm just going to add red, I think. Yeah, I like that. Just a bit of a red sun in the background. Just kind of makes it. So coming back now, I'm going to add these tattoos. Let's make sure I'm still recording. Yes. So I'm going to go for a faded dark blue, inking, technical pen. I'm going to put it just above the color. Make sure it's above the color. I mean, you can do it on the same color layer if you want, but I prefer this separate just in case you make any mistakes. So I'm going to do a quick rake, old school kind of classic rose. I've done quite a few tutorials on rose drawings, you know, there's loads of different ways to do them. Just in a very classic vintage kind of sort of one here. Couple of leaves just off the edge. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five lines off there. Just on the inside bit, I'm gonna go thinner line detail and just mimic the shape of the rose on the inside parts and the petals. Why? Because it looks pretty cool. No denying it, it's a nice little feature, it just kind of brings it out. Do a line there as if there's a leaf going around the back. And maybe a little leaf just coming up there. Yeah, I like that. And then to the top, I'm going to have just gem written across the top. So G E N T. Mm, that could be better than that. Yeah, there we go. Nice, simple little bit of script. My script normally sucks, but I've written during quite a few times, I quite like doing it that way. And there you have it, people. That's how you draw an old school face. You know, I hope you like it. I mean, you can have stuff, little roses in the background, have little features. You know, there's always room to branch of old school. That's one of the beauties of it. But yeah, with the basics, kind of build up how you sort of do it. That's how you do it. I hope you like it. Comment, like, subscribe. If you draw it, make sure you tag me on social media. I love seeing what you guys do. You know, I like to comment and sort of like tag guys back and yeah, see all your stuff. So yeah, make sure you share it. Make sure you show me it. And Neat Broken Puppet, and I'll see you next time. Peace.